Hey everyone, and welcome back to another Digimon Rearise video. My name is D-Free. Here today, we're going to go ahead and do a couple of summons for the Shine Greymon. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hit that subscribe if you're new for more content, as well as that notification icon so you guys don't miss anything that we upload here on the channel. Be sure to let me know in the comment section down below if you guys pulled on this banner what your results were or any hype pull you guys had recently. Like, I posted in my Discord that I got like a uh, Minerva Mon on a single, and then back to back with that, I got like something else. I think it was a Grand Kawagamon dupe. Um, but just like really cool back to back on on the limited time or uh, metal groom on banner like a couple of days ago So let me know any hype pulls you guys have received and I wish you all luck and stuff like that If you guys haven't joined my discord though shameless plug make sure you check it out <laughs> uh, Link is down below obviously we're just chatting it up over there So we're gonna start off by uh, just kind of reviewing the unit right and if you're somebody that just wants to do summons feel free to skip ahead I'm gonna start off by talking about the unit the Digimon that is now in the game and talking about how I think they'll impact the game and we'll go from there. So let's take a look. So Shine Greymon, this is a brave type Digimon. So let's go ahead and see what he does. Passive skill is nullifies poison effects, targeting all allies for three turns. That's actually pretty good. There's some pretty relevant poison type attackers in the game. Uh, it's like a Venom Iotismon, also um, Minerva Mon. So like there's, there's a lot of poison flying around, so it's not bad. For three turns too. Um, so for the Geo Gray Sword, 650% damage to a single enemy target. 60% chance to inflict burn on a single enemy target. For two turns, it increases own crit rate by 50% for two turns. Okay. Um, he's gonna be really good for PVE content, is what I will say. Single targets just never really gonna be super good in PvP, and I do think that a lot of you guys should focus mainly on PvP because it, because PvP is just where you're gonna get most of your your uh, gems in the game at this point. That's just how it looks, and I assume that'll always pretty much be the case. So I assume that that's since that's the case, you definitely need to have that as a focus. But for PvE content, which is everything but PvP, this will be really good. And even in PvP, just for the record, this could pretty much that that 650 percent is a really high modifier. He'll probably pretty much one shot just about most Digimon with chips equipped as well. So he'll be he'll be in a really good spot if he's got some chips on. If not, he'll be taking them down pretty low. So for a second skill here, 250% damage to four enemy targets increases all allies counter rate by 20%. So the last thing I want to talk about here was he does increase his own crit rate. Uh, so there's that. 50% crit chance increase is really nice. Um, I don't know if there's any ways to get crit damage increase in this game. Because generally when you have a crit rate increase in a game, you have crit damage as well. So it, the crit rate is just a likelihood of doing a crit. But crit damage is automatically set at like, a, I don't know what it is, like 1.5, 1.9 times, whatever it is. Crit damage means you do even more than that. So yeah, I don't know if there's a way to get that up. I haven't come across it yet. Personally, let me know if you guys know. So um, counter rate up for your allies. Obviously it means they get a chance to, well, counter hit. So that's obviously going to be more damage. So that's nice. Four targets, 250%. This is a good skill. It's actually a good skill. 75 seconds is actually a good skill. I don't, I don't mind that so much. It does add a little bit of flavor to him and actually a little bit of viability for him in PvP, having a almost full AoE hit. So, not bad. But I do want to own him. He's one of my favorite Digimon as well. So, we're going to go ahead and jump in. First summon. So, let's see if we get any luck here. For the record, honestly, I expect Shaft. But, <laughs> you never know. You never know. If we get him first pull, though, we will not be doing a second. Game, if you're listening... I will still do the second just just so you know right so that way you don't shaft me by the way if you guys have not joined my digi guild i haven't like sorted it out yet or put any like crazy requirements out there but just for now you guys can join uh, i'm just looking for people to join right now and i'll sort some of that stuff out later as far as like requirements and stuff like that but um name is d free go ahead and search it up man i was gonna say like there's no way this is not gonna give me a connection error because it's just stalling there it is okay looks like it's gonna pop through this time around all right, so first summon gotta be good, man. You gave me connection errors and stuff. You better, it better be good. It better be real good. All right, show me what I got on the Gasha. Show me what I got. Any moment now, literally any moment now. What the heck? Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, rainbows. So no rainbow, but we can still get one of these to change into a rainbow. That can happen. So, yeah, that is, that's definitely something that can happen. So, just because you didn't see one doesn't mean it's not going to happen. I mean, I'd say the, the odds of you getting one are, are slim, but it's still worth it. All right. Lady Devimon. Okay. 
and Black Gatoman. Change to a rainbow. No change to a rainbow. Oh, okay. Cool. More Black Digimon. Ah. Oh. Ah. Ah. You, you trolled me. I really thought that was the rainbow one. It trolled me so bad. So bad. So, so bad. Go, on. All right. Come on. Rainbow. Ah, man. Edamon. I need Metal Edamon. I don't have him. I know he's not that great, according to a lot of people, anyway. Um, but I wouldn't mind owning him. Man, I'd, if, I had a, if I had a dime for every time I pulled an Angemon or Patamon in just, like, a very short amount of time playing the game, I always pull that card. Always repeatedly pulling that Digimon. Ah, <laughs> I grew Mom Black. And the last one. Mommy Mon. Yay, Frigimon. Alright. So not the best first summon. To be expected, to be honest. I I I'd be lying if I said I expected to pull the unit. Like this, this banner for the record, I don't recommend summoning on for most people. Like it's here for a month for one. So you have time to do what you want to do with it. You know, stock up and go at it if you really want to. But I just don't really recommend summoning on there. I don't know how often we'll get step up summons, but they're definitely better. The value is better. And that's just how it is in pretty much every game anyway. I just, I wouldn't recommend pulling here. Personally, anyway. Even though I'm doing it. <laughs> For the record. <laughs> All right. Let's get into our next one here. Ew. All right, we definitely need the luck now. Definitely going to need the luck. Definitely going to need the luck. Let's see if we get the luck. The luck of a change to a rainbow. I actually clicked that one too quick, but it's okay. Nothing happened, so it's all right. Ah, am I getting any any changes at all? this summon so I got a few more though all right siege run ah no oh god Piximon for the like the fourth time all right maybe second anyways ah you gotta shaft me like that stop changing if you're not gonna change all the way don't do that ah Stop shafting. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I'm not playing with this card. I'm not playing. I'm, I'm dead serious. Like, I always get Angemon or Patamon. Why? I got like three fake outs. Why? Why? Are you going to go from blue to gold? What is the point? What's the point? It, all it is is you get to skip out on evolving the Digimon. That's it. Digivolving, excuse me. All right, we'll do one single and call it a day. Luck of the Shine Greymon come through. Oh, boy. Ah, ah okay. I didn't really expect anything on the single anyway. I, I, didn't, I didn't go into the video expecting it. Maybe that was my fault. I should have. Like, you know what? I'm going to pull it and stuff like that. I'm going to definitely get it. You know what? On this next summon, I, this will be our final one for sure. I'll definitely get him here. Watch. I'll definitely get him here. We're, we're, we're getting it. All right. We're getting it right here. Show me my Shine Grey Mon. Yep. Okay. I guess it doesn't work that way. <laughs> I guess it doesn't work that way. Cool. All right, game. Thanks for, for making a fool out of me. Oh, that was a different Armadillo Mon. Where do you go to? Oh, okay. I mean, I I don't really plan on using you, but not bad. So we got some new stuffs here. Um, so alongside Shen Greymon, we do have his Clash Battle. So the Warrior of Light burns for battle. So Shen Greymon Clash Battle. So for this one here, you do need uh, you actually in this Clash Battle, there's an increased chance of Fire and Holy Digivolution codes appearing. So you're gonna need those definitely big time definitely obviously still play the clash battle there's new missions and stuff i'm sure some of them tie into playing clash battle definitely still do it still farm this 
because uh, you never know when you could pull him in eventually. Like maybe you do a single randomly, you get him, or maybe like a couple months down the road, you get him randomly, right? Um, but on top of that, though, you definitely still want to get as much of the codes as possible. <laughs> they do mention for this the three keys to defeating him are uh, including Digimon that can heal in your party. Enhancing your defense and error and burn statuses are effective as well. Base your team around those hints and take down Shy Greymon with Scorching Spirit. A gigantic dragon of light appears. Take a strike at Shy Greymon. So, I um, so the last video we did, I believe, was a summon on the Darkness Banner, the, the Darkness Banner, the Halloween Banner. You get, you know, what I'm talking about the the Puppet Mon, yada yada, Creepy Mon, or Daimon, Daimon. Um, so. That one ended with me having uh, just the Piedmon, I believe. So a lot has actually changed for me in the last like week. Um, I did actually get Creepymon. He's here. That Seedramon is actually Metal Seedramon, which I believe hatched from my egg. Uh, so like little things like that have changed. I, don't quote me on that. I have a Puppetmon too, because I got a multi that had Puppet and Creepy in the same multi. Like, we've had some interesting things happening. I guess I need to just record more. I, I grind a lot. I play a lot on the side. But I haven't played so much of the PvP over the last few days. I, I think maybe tomorrow I'll do a stream and just use the last of these gems and get a higher placing. Um, I've been playing, obviously. And I, I've mainly been trying to work on my plugins. I'm now over 200 speed and stuff. I'll show you guys a little bit of what we're doing here. If you guys want to see that stream, uh, we can definitely do it. Be sure to hit that thumbs up, though. But yeah, like I haven't really had the time to play much PvP. I need to. I definitely do. But um, I'm gonna start off with a defense increase. But yeah, that's what I've just been kind of do. Just trying to, you know, work on uh, my plugins and stuff. I almost called them chips. Shout out to uh, Lynx. All right, so any moment now. There we go. There we go. And we're just gonna go here. Oh, you're gonna do that. Okay, cool. And we're going to set all these up, and that might honestly just KO all of everything he has there, pretty much. All right. That's not going to work. The only reason I keep Sequoia on is she's not bad, but uh, I still avoid skill lock. Like, screw skill lock. Oh, she got, she got KO'd. That's fine. Screw skill lock, man. Screw errors and, like, stuff like that. All that in general, anyway. So that's kind of what we're doing. Pretty fun. Pretty meta. That's what it is. Pretty meta. Um, and I'm working on more Digimon too. I wanted. I want to do more. I actually really wanted to pull Shine Greymon because I want to do a video with him and I want to play with him a bit. Because again, I do like that Digimon. So I don't know. I might. I might try to do some more pulls. I don't know if they'd be on or off cam, but I'm not gonna like go too crazy or anything like that. I don't know.
Well, that was pretty nuts. I'm just happy I was able to get that on camera. Yo, that was epic. And I'm so happy I was able to walk away with one of my favorite Digimon overall. Pretty awesome feeling, man. So, uh, this is really cool. So, we're going to definitely finally build this guy up. Um, I'm having graphical errors, apparently. Excuse me. Going to be building this guy up and working with him and going from there. Hello, are you are you are you okay? Or, or are you spazzing out? Are you upset that I pulled him? Hello? I mean I, I assumed that was only gonna be salty commenters that it was you know, I'm I'm just playing, don't get mad. Anyways, um I do wish you all good luck though in all seriousness. And I hope you guys can pull any Digimon you're going for, your favorite Digimons and stuff like that. So thank you all and I'll catch all of you guys in the next one.